So folks, the reason I started doing this 10 years ago was I just, I really found an absolute love and passion for not just machining and manufacturing, but trying to connect with people that could help teach me and learn and then pay that forward. And uh, it's been an awesome journey. And I got a random call three weeks ago to come help out uh, judging this thing called Project MFG. And so I'm here again, somewhat randomly in Wichita, Kansas at Wichita State University. And we're supposed to do a normal video today. And I wanted to live stream from this event. Uh, live stream isn't really our specialty, but this, the stuff that's going on here uh, at Wichita State and with Project MFG is just absolutely amazing. I want to walk you guys down through the halls to show you the machining lab, the composites lab, the welding facility. But I want to start off here um, because I just knocked on this guy's door last night and started talking to him about Johnny Five robots and Wally -E and Arduinos and Raspberry Pi. And to see this kind of energy, um, you know, the reason I wanted to get involved with this project at MFG when I heard about it was it's trade school stuff done right. I, you hear so much about this, about the next generation of folks and what's it going to take for America and the world to uh, change the thoughts on the trades and the education. And this program is it. We're going to go in the machining lab here in a minute and you're going to see 10 VF2s and you're going to see. Um, two UMC 750s, which is just absolutely amazing. But then, then look at this. Look at this. So again, forgive me because we're not streaming experts, but I, I want to hope let this serve as an example of, again, how to do things right. And honestly, throw a little love towards Wichita State because what they're doing here is really cool. I'm not sure uh, how well the audio is going to work, but I'm here with... Uh, Matthew. So I'm here with Matthew. You're relatively new, you said, to the robotics. Your background is in electro... Um, yeah. I was, a, I was an electrician, uh, controlled automation specialist for about 12 years okay. before I got here. Yeah. So I got hired on as the IND instructor, and then they put me over here helping out with robotics. Awesome. Can, can someone chime in in the comments? Can you guys hear Matthew? I'm doing this for my AirPods. I'm not sure how well our guest audio is going to work, but um, can you show us? Uh, you want to show us the robots, the fighting robots first? So, uh, uh, yeah, you want to do the fighting or the dealer? Dealer would be great. Okay, so the dealer, uh, you can you can pull up on your phone and you can select anywhere from two uh, uh, up to three players and uh, any number of cards up to seven cards. So we'll just go the full amount. Yeah. And deal cards. And, uh, and I forgot to hook. The air compressor's got hooked up again. That's fine. I did it again. That's okay. Uh, I'll just swap it over. So he's got to swap the air up. Um, but this kind of contagion and excitement, I don't know what that exact recipe is, um, but I want to work on figuring it out because if there's one thing um, I care a lot about, it's, it's not just helping the students. Honestly, it's helping the teachers. We, we need a program for um, the show, how to get teachers to help inspire and create curriculums where, you know, we were playing with these last night on a Microsoft HoloLens where they built, the students built a user interface that was showing how to control these. And there's, little QR codes in the window. So anybody who's here as a visitor can actually start these robots on their own from their iPhone, uh, which, you know, there's one thing to watch a robot do something, but just to be there and control it is really cool. And then look, look, he's not going to walk into me because he knows. Amazing. Can you show us the fighting lightsabers? Who doesn't love fighting lightsabers? Spot just ran. Look at this ladder. They built a. Uh, they, they built a Wally. We were actually talking about this for our Johnny Five build about the robot operating system that they're using. Um, they've got right now a Raspberry Pi that's kind of the brains, but it is working with Arduinos to control some of the motor systems on it. Um, pretty good looking, if I, don't, if I may say so. We're going to head over to the machine. Matt, we're going to do a full-blown video of this, edit it, and we've got the robots on that. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. No yeah. No, you're on. All good. 
so again, thank you to Matt for giving us a tour. We're, we have a our traditional kind of edited style video of this that we're going to show off. I want to walk down though and show you guys uh, what they're doing from a machining standpoint. Obviously, uh, for this audience, our channel, I care a lot about the machine. And having this kind of a curriculum around this number of machines is totally different than the trade schools that we see so often where they might have one or two CNC machines or they might have a couple of the uh, training pendants, but um, this is really cool. And that ties into why I'm here with Project MFG where they're trying to show off uh, awards case, a $100,000 prize for the top trade school uh, that's competing. There's four competing. Um, and they're also filming this whole thing as a some sort of a TV show or YouTube show but like with a legit film production company here. So um, I need to stay out of their way. But let me see if I can flip the camera around and show you guys. So this is the manual part of the lab. I got the lights off right now on it. But then look at this. Two UMC 750s. These are the contestants right there. In fact, there's uh, Bill Ross right there. Flip it around. Bill, we've got audio through my AirPods. Okay, Can you good. introduce yourself and it's just a short 30 second version of why we're all here for Project MFG? Yeah, sure, great. Uh, thanks, John. Bill Ross with Project Manufacturing. Uh, we're running our national competition here at uh, Washington State University. Wichita. Wichita State University. Where am I at? What day Kansas. Is we, what we're, day in is Kansas. we're in Kansas. So, yeah, it's great. So, uh, but we're here for a national competition. We're in integrated manufacturing. Mm -hmm. So we're doing is trying to promote trade skills across America. Yeah. Try to get kids interested in that. So we're here for a national finals. We've got our four top teams uh, through a round of qualification, regional matches, and now we're in, in here for our finals. So and the winner's going to take home. The winner's going to take home $100,000. $100, Can you believe that? $100,000. It's, really, it's like a life-changing event. It absolutely. Yeah. And so 50000 of that will go to the team directly, yeah. team members directly, and 50000 will go to the school. Yeah, they, they, they represent. incredible. It's, it's a beautiful opportunity. Yeah, yeah well, it's, it's good to meet you this good. week, and I appreciate Thanks, being out here to be part Thank of this. Yeah. So I'll show you guys the rest of this lab. I mean, again, it's just kind of crazy. Um, there's a whole row of uh, ST15 right there, and then let's see how many. I didn't count them. Six VF2s right here. Um, and it's been great, too, to meet the teams, to see what their stories are. Uh, most of them, or many of them, are what you would consider traditional aged uh, students to be in a two year program, but some of them are younger, some high school, some of them are older, which is just like, that's the thing. I, I love seeing folks that want to learn how to make stuff like that fascinates you CAD can machine. Uh, that's what it's all about. So we'll wrap up here in a minute. I'll go around. I want to show some of the teams that they're working on um, they have a pretty legit deadline to uh, machine these parts. There's a whole welding section as well, well with some welding work. Um, but I think we've got some examples. The, the Zeiss guys are here doing uh, Dura Duramax, showing how they're measuring and inspecting the parts. And let's see if they've got. Yeah, so they've got to make this uh, spinning turbine thing. And they have some design freedom around this part of it. This was one of the sample versions. Uh, but legitimate five axis work, which is what makes it really cool. And then there's a base as well. Uh, can we look at your model right now? You're on live streaming. Which model? Just showing, showing everybody what the part is. They just threw them a change order to kind of spice it up. So they have to add some features to this part, repost it, and then fix that code. So really cool. The four teams, if I can remember this from memory, the four teams that made it to the nationals that are here competing are from uh, Huntsville, Alabama area, Cal, uh, which I think is Calhoun. We've got folks from Sarasota, Florida. Uh, what's your Sarasota team? What, what's your name of your school? Uh, Suncoast Technical School. Suncoast, thank yeah. you. Uh, we've got folks from Yuba, California, and finally SWIC, Southwestern Illinois College. And in fact, the SWIC guys are amazing. Um, one of them came up to me this morning and said, hey, can I show you something? And uh, they took me outside. I'd walk out right now with you, but it's a bit far away. And we can actually grab some GoPro footage that we'll put into our edited version of this video for later. But they built a full-blown gooseneck trailer that has four Tormach mills and two Tormach lays. And they took it to 55 schools over the past year to show sixth graders, seventh graders, high school kids, anybody, what manufacturing and machining can be. Literally, these machines all run. There's a UR robot on it as well. That's what we need more of in the world. So, folks, uh, this gets me so fired up to see folks that are passionate about learning, machining, making stuff. Um, I'm grateful to be here as a judge. I've got to meet some really cool people, instructors, my other judges, and so forth. So, 
As always, folks, hope you guys enjoyed something. Take care. See you soon.